What's up guys, Pop Scale with another pop video. Today we got a few things again. We got first of all from G uh G Pop Pop614 Brian Henry over on Instagram, a great, great uh friend of the channel. I believe he sent me some stickers, his first stickers he ever got, so I'm pretty excited to get those. We did get, I think it looks like we got a Funko Shop exclusive, guys. We got a Hot Topic pickup. So these are the two pickups. A Macari purchase. We're going to be getting into this bad boy, the Batman collector's box. And underneath all this, this box right here, we got two Chalice collectibles. Mystery boxes, fifty dollars each, so hundred dollars in total, and you don't want to miss this. All right, guys, welcome back. So, what we're gonna get into first? We'll get into the hot topic. We got like a looks like a single pop box here, so. We're going to see what this is here. Uh, dwindling down on my Hot Topic boxes that we picked up. So definitely excited because these are a lot of ones that I ordered for the collection. So let's see what we got here first. We got it in a sorter. And our usual paperwork with coupons. Can't beat coupons, guys. So let's see. First one for the video, guys. We got oh, yes, we got the Groot Venomized Groot, the new one, not the big 10 inch. That's I don't even know it's out yet, but there we go, guys. We got the Venomized Groot. That's such a cool pop. They do have a 10 inch of this one, not sure if it's out yet. I think it is, but definitely a cool one to get. Um, he's really tiny actually in there, but Groot is such a cool character, guys. So to get him in Venomized was pretty neat. And uh, the tennis should be cool, like put on your desk or something, you know? So that's pretty neat to get that one. Oh, I got to do all the cleaning, all these boxes. All right, next, let's go into this sticker. So Brian Henry, I actually got to meet him. He did come down. Uh, we did some trading. Um, I bought some pops off him. He drove down. We had a great time. Uh, hopefully we can do it again in the future. And uh, we always talk on Instagram. He's like uh, like an uncle to me, you know? <laughs> really cool guy, guys. So I definitely check him out on Instagram. I'll link him down below. And we'll put this up here. I think he actually got a new one now, but we got two stickers. So here it is. So you guys can see it. Let's see. Let's see if it focuses. There you go. So just so you can't read it, it says, Damn kids, get off my lawn. <laughs> really cool, Brian liking the stickers and if you do get that new one i think with the whale that you just got definitely send me that one I want to put on my desk over here so thank you for that so let's throw that out there next one guys we will get into the makari pickup so what did we cut get from makari i don't know i know you ordered some spongebob pops what did i order else from makari hmm Trying to think what else I needed. Um, well, on top of my head, I can remember with a SpongeBob pop. I don't think it's this one, though. No. Uh, let's see. It could be. Alright. Oh, no packing at all. Just. This is, might not be good, guys. But we got. Boom. What? Oh, wow. And this is one I really wanted, too. So, this is a little bit of a letdown, but this is the Loot Crate exclusive Super Saiyan Goku with the metallic hair. Really like this pop. I think it's like a $40, $50 pop. A little surprised why they didn't put any packing, though. But luckily, it's not really damaged. So, happy about that. Let's see if we get a little more close-up on that. There we go. The hair is really amazing on this, but happy that it didn't really come damaged. Thumbs up to that. Uh, from 2016, they did a really great job on this pop, guys. You can see his armor is all metallic-y, glossy as well. So, definitely liking that one. So, that is going in the collection, guys. Alright. We'll do the Funko Shop exclusive next, the Batman box after, and then we'll get into the Chalice Collectibles mystery boxes, guys. Those are always exciting, great values. 
If you have not bought from them, I highly recommend it as you usually get your value back and more. So, put the receipt over there. Don't want to see what it is. All right, here we go. Funko, I haven't opened one of these boxes in a while. So, let's see. Did we get a good sorter? Not the cheap ones. Yeah, we got a nice sorter here. They put this cheap, like, soft uh cardboard sorter that doesn't do that well but let's see what we got here guys we got boom oh i love this one this is so cool hopefully it's not damaged i really wanted this one for the collection so this is milton the toaster from pop tarts and we look at we got a good condition one guys this is such a great pop and he's got the pop tarts in there you can see him right there yep so this one we I think we thought was gonna sell out, but it did not. At the I don't think it sold out at the end. But this is definitely a cool one to get. Definitely going in the collection. Um, and I like they got the the back just has the pop tart there. So really cool ad icon to get. Um, let's see what is next. This was a great buy, guys. So Batman collector's box. Batman 80th anniversary box is what it is. So this is from Target, okay? I think it was Target exclusive. It doesn't say Target exclusive, but if I remember correctly, this was a Target exclusive box, I believe. And I got it at Target, so it was normally $24.99, and they had it on clearance. i never seen much clearance from Funk over there, unless it's online, for $7.48, guys. That was pretty good. So we're going to open this up, get some goodies, and the pop will probably be up for sale as I do not collect the Batman line. There's just way too many Batmans. But for 7 bucks, I mean, you couldn't beat the price, so I had to buy it. But did a nice job on this box for sure. have not seen this open. Don't know what's in there. It does say it on the back here, but I did not look so it's a surprise to me. Be nice if the pop is not damaged. So let's go ahead. Wow, what is this? Okay. They have a lot of stuff in here, guys. So first thing we got. Oh, some pop Batman playing cards. That's great. I actually use these. So pretty cool. That, that was definitely be a keeper. Then we got. What is this? So we got a little box that says pop. Let's see what's in here. For seven bucks, guys, I mean, couldn't beat that, for, you know? Oh, wow, this is definitely a keeper. This is a shot glass. Oh, wow, this is really nice. So it's a Batman 80 Years Edition shot glass. Let's see if we can zoom it in there. So there it is. On the other side, Batman 80 Years. That is the keeper for sure. Definitely liking that. There's like a figure in here. I don't want to get to that one yet. It looks cool, whatever it is. We got some socks. What size are these socks? Hmm. Let me see what the side of the box says. Does not say, but I'm going to open these up, guys. I don't know if I'll wear these, but let's see what they look like. I know someone who will, though. <laughs> So there we go, guys. We got Batman socks, blue and black. Not bad. Pretty cool. And lastly, before we get to the pop, what is this? Okay, this says Hero World. Yeah, Target exclusive. Batman Beyond and Batman. That is pretty cool. Okay. So, zoom in a little bit there. So, you get two figurines. Not bad at all, guys. For $7, this was a steal. <laughs> and what everyone is probably waiting for, the pop in the box. Looks in great condition from the top down. And it is, this is the Batman 1989 Target exclusive. That is pretty cool. What I'm going to do real quick, guys, is I'm going to... I just want to see. So I paid seven dollars forty-eight cents for this, and just gonna scan it real quick on the Funko app to see what kind of price it's coming up at. It's coming up at sixteen bucks, guys. 
So basically doubled my money, got all these little memorabilia stuff, definitely stuff I'm going to use. So can't beat that, you know, that is pretty neat. So this is all garbage, garbage, and time to get to the meat and potatoes, guys. The Chalice Collectibles mystery boxes. These things are heavy. This is from February. So it says February 6th, so this could be the January mystery boxes. And I'm sure there's going to be two in here. So let's go ahead and see what we got. All right. Yep, there is two of them in here. I'm going to empty these out right here. And if you don't haven't seen them already, they do come in their own boxes, which are with their logo on them, which are really nice. So I'll show you that right now. Bam. There it is. Chalice Collectibles. There's usually going to be two, two soft protectors with the hits of the box. And then there's going to be four commons in there. So we are ready to get into these. Open up the first one. Bring it in a little bit. All right, here we go, guys. You ready? Let's see what we got. We got two protectors, four commons. First one out of the first box is boom. Alpha from Walking Dead. Do not collect this line at all, guys. Didn't really like the show. This is a 2019 pop, so it is a newer pop still. There is the first one. First common. Next one we got is Boom. Okay, the Umbrella Academy, Vanya. I think there's a chase for her. So, do not collect this line either. But definitely a cool looking pop. She got like the violin in her hands. And the next common we got. Oop, pulled it out. Too wrong. We got Goku, 28th World Tournament Edition. Already have him. This is going to be a duplicate. So, he is... Another common. That's a cool one, though. But I already got him. And the last common for a $50 mystery box is... Boom. Oh, okay. Speed Racer. That's a cool one to get. I remember watching Speed Racer as a kid. But uh, that is cool. And there is a chase of him. I think he's like in the Demon Knight form, whatever they call it. I don't remember. But uh, pretty cool. All right, guys. So we got two protectors. Those are going to be the hits of the box. So let's hope for some good luck here. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, let's go with the first one. Here it is. Three, two, one. We got the newer Notorious B.I.G. What do they call this one? With champagne. Okay. Don't really collect the B.I.G. or the Tupac Pops, but it is a cool one. Um, I know some of the older OG ones are really expensive, but never had any of those. Here is the last one of the box, guys. Let's see what we got. Okay. Oh, this is the Mickey Asia exclusive. Yep, Asia exclusive Mickey. Uh, that's a cool pop. I have not seen this one before. So everything's been in good condition too, so I'm happy about that. But uh, definitely a cool one to get. It's called Fear of the Mouse 2020. All right, so that does it for that box, guys. <coughs> Comment down below. Let's pause the video one second. Comment down below what you think was your favorite pop out of this box. Mine's got to be the Mickey Mouse. I mean, that's a cool Mickey Pop Asia exclusive. And uh, I remember when they were, they were talking about releasing that one. And I definitely wanted to get that one. And now I got it in the collection. So happy to get that. But we're going to get into the next box now, guys. So should be the same thing. Four commons. Two protectors. Same thing. And here we go, guys. Be nice if we ever got a grail, you know, that'd be pretty cool. But first one we got is boom, diesel. And this one's got a little bit of damage on us, but the damage is right here. It's got a huge crease going all the way down, you can see right there. But thank god it's not one that's going in my collection, so it'll be up for sale for trade. Uh, this is a newer pop, also. I didn't know they made him actually 2019. Next common we got is. Judith Grimes from Walking Dead. So another one. This is probably part of the same series that the other one was from. Let's see. Uh, yep, Alpha. That was on the other one. And this is a newer one as well. So that will be up for sale for trade. 
the next common we got is boom mulan oh this is the newer mulan i think from yeah i think there's a hot topic um mushu i think so this is a 2019 mulan uh do not collect her last common out of this 50 dollar box second one is bam okay the xena warrior princess had this one before that's a cool one to make. I remember watching her growing up. So, definitely a cool pop. I mean, the Xena and the Wonder Woman, they all sort of look the same almost. Dark Phoenix is a little bit. But we're going to get to the first protector guys of the box. This one, um, these two should be the hits of this box. So, let's see what we got. First one we got is... <sighs> okay. This is the Tupac now. It's that same that came out with the B.I.G. This is the special edition. So there he is. All right, and hopefully it's not another Mickey, but let's see. Last pop before we do the values, guys, is bam, a J Balvin music themed mystery boxes here. This is not the chase. So, all right, not bad. So, what we're going to do, guys, we're going to tally this up. We're going to see how we fared on this one, and we'll be right back. Hold on one second. All right, guys, welcome back. Let's do a little game here. Before we get into the values, comment down below if you think the first box that I showed you was the winner or the second box in terms of value. So, we're going to get into this right now. So, comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Just see, let's see how many people knew off the top of their head which one it was. Don't go on Pop Price Guide or Funk Lab and start checking prices. Just take a guess. But uh, let's get into the first box, guys. So, the two hits in the box, we're going to call everything around 10 bucks, let's say. So, we got the first hit was the Notorious B.I.G. And that one was only 12 bucks then the big hit of the box was the mickey and he's coming in at 32 dollars guys so on that box we totaled 75 dollars in value definitely pretty cool for uh, a 50 dollar box basically made 25 bucks minus the shipping of course then the other box i'm counting all of them at, well actually i counted all the pops with the actual prices they're roughly between uh, 7 to $10 each. But um, with the actual values, it came out to 75 on that box. The other pops, normally we, we round all the comments around 10 But this one was a shocker. The Judith Grimes, she was coming in at... The glare is terrible here. Um, $16, guys. But the other ones... Let me just move these real quick so I don't glare you out too bad, guys. The Tupac Shakur... Okay. Oh, I see why it's the I have the pop price get up. That's what's doing it to you guys. So Tupac Shakur guys, that one came in at eighteen dollars, and the J Balvin came in at thirty two. So that box total true value ninety one dollars guys. So if you thought box two was the most expensive, you were right. If you thought box one was, uh, you were close. That was at seventy five. But, again, guys, so what do we get? We got 90 and 80 roughly, $170 in value, and we paid $100 plus shipping. I think it was like probably like $120. So we got $50 extra in value. Can't beat that. Great value. Always recommend Child's Collectibles. Great company. So, guys, uh, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Always appreciate that. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right as I try to release content every week. And if you do, hit that little bell so you do get notified once I do release content. All right, guys, stay tuned.